<laughs> and, and we'll let you know how we really feel when, when and if they approach us and ask us to be the grandmothers of the <laughs> people who are really going to the cabin. Actually, my, my hope is, if they ever do it, that my daughter will be cast in my role. Except, I will not allow her to do the woods. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> concept. That's a thorny issue. Let's not go there. Oh, uh, there we go. <laughs> who has another question? Okay, bye. I guess we're done. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. He's, he's in charge. This is being handled. I got you. Speaking of the woods go. sequence. No. <laughs> <laughs> Segwaying into it. What, um... Can you talk about it a little bit? Oh, sure. <laughs> so yeah, I would love to be happy to. Lay down on the couch, Ellen. Let's it's disgusting. Funny. I have such a headache. <laughs> sort um, of a truncated issue, but it's, we'll try. I'm going to go out on a limb here. And, um, you know, for many years I couldn't talk about it, but now that I've gotten rid of that pesky case of Dutch elm disease, I'm ready to talk. Um, that's supposed to be funny. Uh, <laughs> thank you. That's it. No. Um, as you have probably heard in all the Evil Dead lore, um, in the script it said, Cheryl is attacked by the woods. End of statement. So it was, ne it was never intended originally to be a sexual scene. And I didn't know it was going to be that. But as we were doing it, it somehow <laughs> evolved. And um, I, being the go for it kind of 20 year old that I was, said, okay. And they said, you know, you're not really going to see anything. It's going to be long shots, and you know, and it was cold, and I was tired. I said, okay, let's just do it. And um, when I saw it, I was really shocked. <laughs> but and the other thing is too, some of it was done in post. So even while you were doing it, there were sound effects and stuff that were done. And, in post. and the reverse, yeah, uh, the the trees were being pulled. We were pulling them off of her while they were filming it because we all did all this, many of the scenes together. But in post, they went up her. They reversed the Who knew? A really nice way of putting it, I might add. <laughs> Just let's get down there and talk about it. So yes, that's the wood scene in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, in a big all right, who Next else has question. a question? Yes. I noticed that you, at your table, you had a uh, poster for a new film of three you seem to be working together. Can you talk about that? Yeah. <laughs> it's actually a web series called Dangerous Women. Thank you for asking, because we wanted to talk about it anyway. Um, there is a website called Strike TV, www.strike.tv. And this is, actually it, it, it was intended originally as a film. Our friend David O'Malley wrote it. And when he found out about Strike TV, which was a website that started during the writer's strike, he decided to make it into a web series. And so we have six episodes online right now. It's, the storyline is about three um, soccer moms living in suburbia who are tormented by their evil other selves. They each have a doppelganger. Mm -hmm. And so it's kind of a combination of like desperate housewives with a little <laughs> sci-fi twist. And um, it's funny and we hormonal. hope. Hormonal. Yeah. And we and, have weapons. And we have weapons. So yeah, the, in fact, the tagline is, this ain't your mother's PMS. <laughs> so um, we would love for you to all watch it, because the more views we get online, the more likely it is that we will get sponsored and be able to make more episodes. So feel free to pick up one of these and go and watch yeah, it. Yeah, and, and write something about it, because there's a blogging component to it, too. Yeah. So we'd like to know what you really think. <laughs> Thanks. And while you're on the computer, Go ahead and feel free to log on to www.ladiesoftheeviledead.com because it has a little bit of bio on each one of us, has a merchandise page in case you haven't gotten everything you needed here this weekend. Mm -hmm. And uh, what else? Our next appearance. Mm -hmm. Where is our next appearance? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but we'll keep you updated and go to the site on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. More Somebody has to have some more questions about Bruce or Rob or Sam or yes. her sex life. Can you tell me a little bit about your training and your process and if you're a fan of the genre? 
Oof, loaded question. Betsy, would you like to start? My training and my process. <laughs> Teresa, <laughs> <laughs> would you like to add anything? No, no, I'm ready. Oh, I'm ready. That I'm wasn't ready. process. That wasn't my process. <laughs> um, actually, I did study acting and drama. I went to Michigan State University. Are there any Spartans out there? Come on, no. Betsy. Okay. Yeah. We're in Connecticut. <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry. Okay. I went to Michigan State University, and then I actually uh, I have a double degree in theater education. I had a teaching uh, certificate, and I had my other degree in classical voice. And um, I was actually in Detroit when I met Sam and Rob and Bruce. And I had been told by my theatrical agent that these three young gentlemen were thinking of making a horror movie and they wanted to meet me. <laughs> so I just thought that was sort of weird. And so I said, I'll meet them, but I'll do it in a public restaurant because I thought if I was going to get murdered, <laughs> at least the waiters would see. That's the honest truth. Um, and I have been acting on and off ever since. My process, um, I don't know if I have a process. I guess it's just the raw talent that just comes out of me. <laughs> <laughs> and am I, am I a fan of the genre? To be perfectly honest with you, I really don't sit down or go or you know go to movie theaters and watch horror films. They actually really scare me. In fact, we were doing the. Um, uh, commentary last night and there were some people sitting right here and when the hands come out of the, of the door to get bruised I mean I must have jumped a mile high and I've seen this movie 60 times so either I have actually no memory